something interesting. We are looking at something from Micro Swiss. And so we're looking at something from Micro Swiss, and this is their extruder kit that includes a lever, a plate, and the screws and the spring for this. And it all mounts onto the stepper motor for your one how or your cocoon create or maker select you know. So here is my stepper motor. So there's mine as you can see I've already got a uh, micro swiss lever on here but they sent me a full kit for review so and of course that is my lost PLA cast that I did in a previous video using pewter so you can find that design and the design that's actually functional for printing so you can use it as your extruder plate on Thingiverse I'll put a link in the description so first things first let's open this up let's look at what we've got here now great thing about Micro Swiss is they love their bags so everything comes in a bag which is very helpful bag <coughs> bag and one more bag now the lever and the plate have labels but the extra screws and spring do not now so this total kit is going to cost you around twenty six dollars However, I looked at the prices of the lever separately and the extruder plate separately. This is going to cost you, I think it was 17.95 US dollars, basically 18. And the actual plate was only 13 dollars. Now, if you add up that it's around thirty dollars so if you're wanting to get this and this it's probably a good bet to buy the full kit and get these two even if you don't need them because you can reuse the ones that are stock on your printer but twenty six dollars versus thirty dollars if you're buying them separately you're probably going to want to just buy the kit so we are going to go through putting this on your extruder stepper motor now most of it is pretty uh, well you can see how it goes together but in case somebody wants some uh, reassurance we'll go through it so first of all we have this screw here and that's going to take off your arm and your spring and I suggest I suggest that whenever you're doing this you hold this you put some tension on this because if you don't there's a chance the spring will fly out and believe me you don't want to have to be hunting for a spring even if you bought the kit and you have an extra
So, we'll put that down on the pad there. As you can see, that is the leveler arm and the spring. They both come off of one screw. Now that means that the plate is held on by only one screw. So, all you have to do is loosen this screw and it will come off. So, as you can see, there's my extruder plate. It has come off of the stepper motor. And now, the stepper motor is blank. Now, a good thing to note, before you take yours apart, is this connector. You, ha you need to remember where the connector was in relation to your extruder plate. Because if you forget, you might put your extruder plate on the wrong way. Now, I remember that mine is on the top. So whenever I put this back together, I'm going to make sure this is on the top. Yours may be different. It may be the same. So, as you can see, this has a hole for the plate and a hole for the lever arm but it's also got a larger hole down here that I've heard of for PTFE tube it's what I've heard but I don't I don't know I'll have to try it out and see for printing flexible filaments but for right now we will just attach it without worrying about that right now so we're going to open up the baggie and we are going to pull out the hardware and we are going to set it all down there now then we're going to take our extruder plate and remember you want to remember where this is in relation to this so as you can see I can see my hole right there so I'm going to grab my screw, I'm going to stick it in, and I am going to start screwing it. Now I'm not going to tighten it real hard, I'm going to leave it loose, because see, there's flex there. So we want to get this hole lined up before we tighten this one, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get it lined up as best as I can. And now I am going to attach the spring and the extruder arm. So we got our extruder arm. We're going to stick the screw inside here. Now this is using, um, well it, it can use the stock Allen keys that come with the one how, but I'm using a screwdriver kit. So, there we go. There's spring. And so here's where it gets hard because, as you can see, the spring connects there, but you gotta get the screw in, so you have to kind of compress the so you really have to compress the arm down and then start screwing it into the stepper motor so as you can see I've got it started and see how I've had to compress it down We got it tight and voila.
we now have installed our new hardware onto our stepper motor and this can be re remounted onto the printer so with that said you can take your old hardware and put it up in case you need to use it later reuse the bags for that and you can reuse the bags for that and yeah, there's the custom piece that I made this one also uses a PTFE tube for flexible filaments so you have seen a quick look at it and a quick installation of it there will be more videos to come with this as I test it with flexible filaments and more so thanks for watching